slap. Welcome to the world of tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, it's nice music, but oh god. That was some THX type shit. Graphics go up. Yeah, yes. I'm pretty sure you probably can play it on high. Yes, English, please. No, no, only Moroccan. Only answer. <laughs> okay, hi everybody. It's me, Kiki, and Cupcake, and we're going to play Universe for Sale prologue of it because it's free most definitely okay also because we're both horrors for point and click adventures oh god yes i like i, I think it was second wind did a thing on this and i was just like kiki do you want to play this and you were like yes <laughs> why don't you do that sure lila Brush your teeth, it's bedtime! Mommy! <laughs> Mommy! What is it? Didn't I just tell you it's time to sleep? Not without a story. Listen to you, the little rascal. Take it easy. Again with this dusty old book, will you ever get tired of it? Never, please, just one more time. You win, give it to me. God, this is gorgeous. In a time before time, there was a boy without a name. He had neither mother nor father. He knew neither shape nor frame. The wind does not know his birthplace, the day the mountains have forgotten. Firstborn, alone, unbegotten. Before you were, my quiet list, before myself, counting the story. Before mother, father, and grandfather. Before memory, sorrow, and glory. Before verses that twist and turn and letters sent across the far earth. Before heroes whose legends would burn and gatherings around the night hearth. When everything was unordered but together in a single spot. With the sky above still folded, maybe upright or maybe not. In a time when the ground didn't know where to lie, when the seas over sound hadn't flowed rising high, the seed of time still unplanted had yet to grow fast. Neither fate had been written nor known was the past. What is said, what is known, is that the child was alone. In that abyss of darkness unsown. Well, that's Jupiter. Yeah. Are we on one of the moons? Uh, what? Wait, what? Wait, are we on, uh, like a base station in the atmosphere of Jupiter? That would be wicked. Oh, somebody's dead on the ground. 
Oh, nope, not dead. Ooh. Had place to fall asleep or pass out. Oh. Oh, that's you, apparently. Or whoever we are, I guess. Wow, I mean, we are really well covered. Uh, we appear to be looking out the building from the other side, which is just great for figuring out what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Um, interesting combination of like pantaloons, striped hood, and what looks like a military trench coat. Yeah. He's like a half clown, half like military veteran, I guess. Oh. 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 Is that Hanoi? Hanoi Tea House? Hanon Tea House? Yeah, probably Hanon. I'm guessing open since it's all lit up. Yeah. Oh, you're going in. Didn't see anything other actionable, so. Yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh. Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God, what? What is he? He's deaf? Or just a skeleton man. He has ears. Nobody seems surprised by him. Bad weather, eh? Also, we're really just kind of assuming the gender here. Yeah, I, I guess it could be a lady. It's a skeleton. Um... One can't even see a thing out there. With this rain, you can't scarcely see the light from the windows. You've been lucky. You could have lost your spare ribs. Damn shields. They should have stopped acid rain from raining on the colony, and yet... Lucky we get the usual clients, otherwise I would have closed this place many years ago. Colony? Does the colony have many technical issues? For no hawk's sake, couldn't get much worse than this. It's been centuries since this colony has ceased being self-sufficient. Bartering is the only reason it hasn't collapsed yet. Bartering? Precisely. The old Jovian mining colony has become one of the most picturesque and infamous holes of the solar system. Have a tour once the storm abates. Uh. Pardon? Oh, God. Just drinking water and I'm burpy. Acid rain? Is the rain so dangerous? For Noah's sake, you're not from Jupiter, are you? I admit that I'm not from around here. Well, since you asked, the rain is liquid hydrogen, highly corrosive, highly flammable. Not by chance our colony is protected. Not by chance our colony is protected by curtains woven from de dementarium. Those big orange tar tarpaulins. Tarpaulins, thank you. Wrapped around the buildings. Precisely. When the shields are out of order, it's the curtains that save our asses. Shields? What's wrong with the shields? It's been years since the shields have started to fail. Turbulence makes them obsolete. Every damn time we get a bad storm, all the shit from the atmosphere rains down on us. Isn't there anyone that can fix them? Everyone here minds their own business. Many pretend the problems don't exist or that it always was it always was what you see, a shitty pile of scraps. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. You must be freezing. What can I do for you, sir? What do we think? Are we going to get to say them all again or is this a one time gig? That's the question, isn't it? I think it's a one-time gig, based on what we say. What, Based on our options, I mean. Yeah. So what do you think? I don't know. It seems like we don't know why... We don't know why we're here or where we are. Yeah. What services? I guess, yeah. Well, I mean, it's a tea house, so... We sure. have some idea. 
do we know we're looking for someone? Yeah, that's the question. We know nothing about this person. We don't know their name or what they're doing. Here. It's up to you. I mean, I don't, I think all. I, I think the first two are probably the best options. I think the last one is really for somebody who's like already played through the the prologue. Yeah. Because I'm guessing if you ask the first two, the guy explains more about the background. Flip a coin. You got heads. So the first one. All right. Sorry, but I have no idea what sort of place this is. This is the famous Hanoi Tea House, or Henan Tea House. Which would be me. <laughs> We have teas and infusions of all kinds, the most peculiar available here in the colony, and all of them are prepared by yours truly. Here, have a menu with our fan favorite. Oh, cool. Oh, well, you're the tea master, so you tell me. Oh, God, you don't think this is difficulty, do you? Oh, God. Oh, we're picking this one. Coil leaves, great choice. Now the tables are all full. As soon as the tea's ready, you can have it here at the counter. Thank you, but I'm actually looking for a person, a girl. A girl? Wait, wouldn't you be Lila's friend? Lila's friend? Hmm, yes. I think it's Lila. Lila's friend. Then you have a booking here. That girl, she never told me who would be coming with her. She just calls me out of the blue asking to keep a table for her and saying, and I say, hey, who else is coming? She behaves as her usual self. And on, if you don't mind your own business, I'll burn that shack of yours to the ground. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, I think I've been speaking long enough. Lovely girl, anyhow. It appears to be the case, indeed. Leela isn't here yet. You can wait for her at the t at your table in the middle of the room. Well, oh, okay. He's, he's got a um. No, go back. I can look at a thing. Oh, look called? at that! What are they called again? A Daruma. Oh, Daruma! Yeah. He's got one of the eyes blinked out. He's made a wish. But he hasn't completed it yet, so. Let's see. Damn. Oh, look at it. Oh, I can talk to people. What good that will do. Ah, another cultist, I see. Oh. Priest. Get yourself, son. What has Bleep brought you? You're more bones than flesh, and you still call yourself a man? Anyways, you've just come at the right time. I was attempting to bring the soul of this young woman under the protection of the Pantheon. Would you like to join and listen? It's very entertaining. He was just telling me that they have a specific god for everything. For instance, there's this, there's one that is in charge of making people go to the bathroom. Car something? Carnus, the god of bodily sphere. The one you insult every day with your profane cuts. Please, no need to lose your cool. We have our own gods too, you know. But no one knows what their names are or exactly how many they are. They're on the other side of the Satori. And only the Enlightened can name them. There's nothing of the sort. A man who wants to reach what you call Enlightenment. Just a fool who provokes the wrath of the gods. Whatever you say, everyone is entitled to their own beliefs after all. I'm going to walk away from that conversation. So apparently, <laughs> apparently she's, I'm guessing she's a believer in whatever you are a priest of because her ears and face are adapted. They're, yeah, her modified. ears are modified. They're floating off her face and her face is cut up. Yeah. 
Whereas we know for a fact that you're... Oh, God. You smell foreign. I come from very far away. What was that? Just run by. I think it's whatever was behind the guy to his right. It's the wrong name's Pandar. I help the fat human Barhe Nun in charge that needs strength. If you need me, you will confine to me here for the right compensation, of course. I will keep that in mind. I have never seen an ape like yourself. Welcome to Jupiter, Bone Bun. Orange storms like means of cyber oranges. This is what human bar says, always asking for helpy, the lazies. You know, started as some kind of slavery, tis what they thought. Thought us stupid, easy to control, but ships made us more intelligent than they. Why didn't you gain the upper hand then? Why? To have heaven 400 kilos the same as four when team and bottle pay us to do that, be happy. I understand. Sit. Okay, we still got stuff to look at. Talk Just... to the guy that was right? Or you want to talk to the little dude, maybe? Hey, you're in a cat? Kinda. Hmm, no thanks. Good, because I wouldn't let you have another have it over my dead body. These are not normal cats, you dumb dumb. They are Lamar. Murray? Lamar? They only live on Jupiter. I traveled here from Ceres, only for them. I'm a breeder, you know. I own 85 at the moment. I was just now asking Bandar whether he was available to reach a small nest they have established behind one of the windmills. Got the credits. 50 for each specimen, my friend. Seven shoe. Let's make it six. Five. Okay, okay, deal. So damn state Rangoos. I don't to make deals with you, Billy. Alright. Well, that's a thing. The little robots? What are they gonna say? Not nothing, I guess. Big robot? Good evening. Him. Good evening. Oh, forgive me. I was calibrating the com drivers. Shen at your service. I work at the hydroponics plant. And my friend here is Tito. Nice to meet you. It. Excuse him. He's unable to speak right now. We're sharing our vocal processor until we can find another for cheap. Today's Wednesday, and it's my turn. Very practical. Well, okay. Anyone else around? There's not more this way. I'm not getting the sign. Yeah. I don't think you're going to talk to the people in the foreground, but but, oh, yeah, now you can sit down. Did you do it or should I? Wow, a heck of lightning! I don't know who that, that was. must be the main character. Oh, it was him! Oh, okay. Let's hope the curtains hold up. I wouldn't want to build this place from the ground up all over again. Just out of curiosity, you are in the cult, aren't you? Ooh. Used to be. I was part of it once. Not anymore. The grass don't really go away, though, do they? Cousin of mine was into that kind of thing. She attached her own hat and feet. Told me it was to reach enlightenment. You must be crazy to detach all those body parts. If aliens said they would probably look just like you. Forgive me, didn't mean no offense. None taken? I'm actually happy to talk about it. Good. Here at the Henan Tea House, everyone, and I repeat, everyone is welcome to make themselves at home. Any quote, you got something sweet. Oh, you got the, the thing for taking it. Anyway, here it is an infusion of Koyala.
Woo, what a boom. Turning to what we were saying before, my cousin used to say that without her head, she could think more clearly. Is that true? It's one way to see it. Uh, I guess. And you and Leela, how did you two meet? Should I do that or you wanna? Uh, oh, oh it's oh, her. I went away. Self voice her since you got the guy. Hello to you, Leela. The cup is ready. Thanks, and I, kind as usual. Oh, I love her hair. No, it's octopus tentacles. Excuse him. I think that guy got this place just to snoop around in people's purse. Always a pleasure. He always has to have the final say. Don't worry, I find him likable. He's sweating. Ugh. Mm. Mm. You appear surprised. Do you think I wouldn't show up? It's just that I'm happy we can finally meet. Ah, uh, you're too easily pleased. The fact is, around here every day is exactly like the one that came before. Trust me when I say that something is a blessing to meet. Sometimes it's a blessing to meet a foreigner. Someone besides the usual market clientele in Henan. Hey. For what I've managed to see, this colony is very interesting. They say that Jupiter's markets are a continuous flow of humanity. People from all around the system finding themselves here. It's supposed to be exciting. Yeah, can't really disagree with you on that. Maybe I've just lost that something to help me see the novelty of humanity. Anyhow, do you like the Koyala? Yeah, I used to drink it quite often. Serious question. Where does it go? Hinan collects the flowers in the lowest parts of the colony next to the reactor. The high temperatures allow the plants to reproduce, bring the male flowers bloom, and poof! And instantly they are reduced to ash by the reactor. The ash floats and falls over the female flowers, which are coated by a sticky fluid so that the plants are pollinated and new seeds are produced. The ash is used to, fla the ash is used to flavor the tea. In that teapot, one must introduce a box containing the pollination juices releases chemical reagents that melt the seed capsules to start the infusion. Some ash remains unfiltered. This is why the, tis the tisane is still very dark. Don't worry. It's not toxic. It's sweet. Like witnessing a mating ritual. Yes, I guess so. Ten, thirteen, six. What are you counting? Nothing. I was just counting the seconds that separate the lightning from thunder. The speed of sound is about 300 meters a second. All this considered, the eye of the storm will be around 5 kilometers from where we are now. Two temporally distinct phenomena, but with a single origin. I know it's stupid, but noticing it makes the reality... Oh wow, the relativity! Of time seem more tangible. Do you spend a lot of time thinking about these things? Hmm, yes, it's kind of the stuff I like. Sometimes I feel like people don't really get what I'm saying. You, for instance. Why are you interested in my work? Oh boy. I don't know why. Right. I don't fucking know what he's about. Right. What they're about. Uh. Must there be a reason? Whatever. 
at the bazaar, there are several things and trinkets that are much more useful. Or just, my stuff is useless. It's very hard to get. Couldn't I understand it? What's with all these questions? Maybe it's because I don't have much to say myself. Do you think that's positive? Fusion must be complete by now. Allow me. Thanks. Forgive me, sometimes I'm a bit peevish, I know. The first time I saw you, you came across as quite confused. But I don't doubt your intelligence. Your, your face tells me you've seen many things in your life. There are never enough things to see. I'd like to know your story. It's not that easy. I will try my best to understand. It's okay. As I told you in the bazaar, I make small universes. I what? She what's? Universes? Oh, he just went bug-eyed. I extrapolate them using ordinary matter as a building with simpler if I use liquids like the tea in this cup. Pocket universe? I can shape them, giving them any form I wish. Shape changes the physical rules of each universe from how time develops to how much time passes from the Big Bang to thermal death. The form that I find particularly interesting is that of the circle. Uh, is it asking me to make a fucking circle? I think so. So go out and over. That and go up. Then up, up one more time, and then over to each other. On which side? Doesn't matter. You're gonna. You're basically. You have the bottom half of a circle. You see, right? Yeah, you see what I'm saying. Like I know it's technically a square, but yeah. So this is a type of universe potentially like ours. Like ours with stars, planets, and the like. But he's a bug-eyed. Yes, of course, but I'm actually referring to the time. You see, where it starts is all the where it ends, only to start again. In, cosmolog in cosmological theory, it's called the Big Bounce. It's incredible. The material instead determines the fundamental qualities of each universe. For instance, using Coela, you would get a universe that's pitch black. Dark matter dominates in ordinary ma over ordinary matter dramatically increasing its density. It's a light it's a lifeless universe occupied only by massive red stars and hungry black holes. You said it was Lila, right? Go go with Lila, yeah. Yeah. Lila, if what you're saying is true You create new realities with life, maybe even people. I'm not creating anything. The universe is already there. Somehow I just make them visible. And obviously, they are not exactly as you see them here. It's just a relativ relativistic representation. But it's here, right in front of our eyes. Leela, you're like a goddess. You don't understand. I understand completely. I think you underrest. We should just crush it. I am not a god. Two seconds, the storm is almost here. It is. Mila, I must go now. 
What? Sorry, I really mean it. I will get in touch soon. I promise. But... Is it because I got all nervous? Forgive me. I told you it's complicated. No, no. Believe me. I have something to do. I can't put it off. He sent something that she couldn't? Is he gonna make out with the storm? Hila, I want you to know more about your universes. Hi, Phantom! Meow. Why do you do this when I'm recording? You were asleep. You are so loved. So very loved. Go love on your brother. He's right there. Oh, okay, but... I will show up again. Can you at least wait until it stops raining? I want to, but can't. Enjoy your evening, Leela. Good night. Why did he leave right then and there? What did he get? What was he sensing? <sighs> Zero seconds. Universe for sale. Oh, signal lost. Holy, he got away again. <laughs> he must, we must find him or else uncle will kill us. Okay, at least they're referring to him as a him. So I guess that's yeah. the gender. Or they're assholes. <laughs> Thanks for playing the prologue of our game. Add to your Steam wish list to know when the full version will be available. And if you feel like it, give us some suggestions. And now onto the real game! Huzzah!